Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to the channel. And today we're taking a look at the SVS SB3000 subwoofer. And I believe that this is the subwoofer to beat at $1,000 for movies and also perhaps even for music. And we are definitely going to be comparing it to some of the RHEL subwoofers that we reviewed on this channel, like the T-Series, which is known for its musicality and also their new home theater series. So make sure to sit back and hit that subscribe button and hit the bell notification so you don't miss anything and we'll get straight to it. So the SVS SB3000 subwoofer is a sealed enclosure design which is preferred by some audiophiles for being a more musical enclosure design. Now this is a powered subwoofer with 800 watts powered by their sledge amplifier and this amplifier is capable of a peak power of up to 2500 watts. So this makes a very competent and very very powerful amplifier in a sealed enclosure. And this type of power is not only necessary but required for a sealed enclosure like this, especially for home theater purposes. Now with this much power going into the subwoofer, it is no doubt that you need a strong driver capable of delivering that bass instead of a chuffing or distorting sound. An SVS 13 inch driver with very heavy surrounds is capable of just that. It pumps out bass like no tomorrow, and there is no distortion to be found even at high SPL levels. Now I found that very impressive because I used to have the SB2000 and in that case, I did run into the drivers giving up before the amplifier did. Now in this case, I find that I can crank up the volume to ridiculous levels to this house rumbling and things falling off without any distortion and just clean bass. Now of course in a bigger space it is very possible that this driver will start giving up and distorting and for that you will need a bigger subwoofer. But in my current space I thought even the SP3000 was a bit overkill with this ridiculous output capability. Now certainly the output and the power of this subwoofer is very impressive but that is not what impressed me the most with this subwoofer. What impressed me the most was that despite being a sealed enclosure design, it is able to dig down all the way down to 18 hertz and even lower in some rooms. When I put through test tones through this subwoofer, I couldn't hear the bass, but I felt the bass and definitely things were falling down in my house. So the ability for this subwoofer to dig down low is quite impressive. And this especially is great for movies. Now on the back of the subwoofer, everything is very easy to understand and very intuitive. There's LED lights to indicate where you are and indications of the face, the volume, and also the low pass. So everything can be controlled on the back of the subwoofer. Now not only that, but this subwoofer has Bluetooth capability able to connect with the SVS app to control everything and fine tune everything to your liking. And get this, you're able to change the face all the way from 180 to zero. Most subwoofers only have three settings to change the phase, and in this case, you're able to fine tune all the way from 180 to zero. This gives you a very, very flexible way of integrating your subwoofer to your room, allowing you to really fine tune the speakers. And also, there is many, many options that I was not able to go through with this subwoofer, and if you wanted to, you can, and definitely, make the best out of the subwoofer in your space. Now, as a reviewer who reviews audio gear and as someone who breathes and lives this stuff, I believe that the SVS guys really know what they're doing because they understand that everyone's needs are different and that their rooms are different. And therefore, they're giving you this app with the fine capability of fine tuning everything to your room. So what you end up having is a very capable subwoofer that you can fine tune and adjust to make it even better suited for your space and needs. Now with that being said, let's get into my experience with this subwoofer and some of the comparisons. Now when I look at subwoofers, 
there's three things that I look for primarily. The first thing is how well it integrates with my speakers. In this case, the BMW 705 S2 speakers I have in here and how seamless it is from where my main speakers starts to roll off and where the subwoofer picks back up. I should not be able to hear the subwoofer on its own. It should be as if I don't have a subwoofer. And in fact, if anyone walked into the room, they should be asking me, is the subwoofer even on? That's what I want, that seamless integration for music. Now, the second thing I want is the ability to dig down low to a certain point. Now, you have to understand that most music, and I mean most music, don't have passages that require 20 hertz or lower. That is purely, in my opinion, for more movie purposes and enjoyment, which do, in fact, have 20 hertz and even lower in some cases in movie tracks. And the third thing I look for is how fast the subwoofer is and also the tonality of the subwoofer. And very simply put, the SVS SB3000 subwoofer practically nails every category in my books. First of all, it has an app that lets you fine tune everything to your room, to your speakers, to your needs. So this really comes down to practice and how good you are in setting everything up and understanding your room and your speakers. And if you really know what you're doing, then you can get a lot out of the subwoofer and also the seamless integration between the speaker becomes a no brainer in this case. Now, bringing in a little bit of a comparison here. Now I do find that RHEL subwoofers like the home theater series that we just reviewed and also the T series are a little bit easier to integrate right off the bat into your system, meaning connect and play, and it sounds more or less more seamless than if I were to connect and play the SVS. But using the app on the SVS, I can get pretty similar and even better results at times, depending on how good I am with adjusting it to my room and my speakers. Now, in accordance to the second point of what I look for in a subwoofer, the ability to dig lower the SVS subwoofer is the clear winner. It is able to dig lower than the Rail Home Theater series and of course, their musical T-series. And I understand why people like the SVS subwoofer for their home theater and they're big on the home theater market. And I also understand why some home theater enthusiasts say that the subwoofer is the center and the most important thing when it comes to movie experience. Because when I was watching King Kong, and there was a scene where King Kong and T-Rex fight each other. I was so engaged that I was eating my sushi and I dropped it. And let me tell you, I never dropped my sushi. So without a doubt, the SVS SB3000 would be my choice to go for home theater purposes because it is able to go down deeper and I'll put a higher SPL levels than RHEL subwoofers, both the home theater series and the T-series in the similar price category. Now, with that being said, when it comes to musical passages, I do find that the RHEL subwoofers do have better tonal balance. And especially with the RHEL's T-series and their high level connection, I found that the tonal balance was better and also the seamless integration between the speaker and the subwoofer was more easier to integrate. However, SVS SB3000 is not far behind. So in very short comparison, I would say that the SB3000 is a home theater first and music second subwoofer, whereas the RHEL home theater subwoofer, which is more of a comparison here, is still, even though it's home theater series, more of a music first and home theater second type of subwoofer. Now you have to understand that SVS and RHEL, both of these companies have come a long way to make better subwoofers, both for music and home theater purposes. And in my books before, it was true to say that SVS is better for home theater and RHEL is better for music, period. And that was true back in the day, but now I feel like after testing the SB3000 and some of the RHEL's most recent subwoofers, I find that both of them are equally good for both purposes with slight distinctions from where they come from. SVS, still slightly better for home theater, but it is extremely 
pleasing for musical purposes. And I can definitely attest that some of my Patreons who own the SVS subwoofers are very happy with it. Whereas Rel come from a background of musical subwoofers, but now is trying to get more of the home theater going. And I find that they're doing an excellent job of that as well with allowing more output capability on their sealed enclosures and making very good changes to their new lineup. So for someone like myself who has a 100 inch projector screen and watches movies from time to time, but also loves music and has a main music listening room, then the SP3000 makes a lot of sense. But if I don't have a home theater system and I am not interested in watching anything but just listening to music, then I would definitely go with RHEL subwoofers, without a doubt. So I definitely recommend the SVS SP3000 subwoofer for anyone who was looking for a subwoofer for movies and also even for music. So there you have it. If this video was helpful to you, make sure to subscribe and click that like button. And also consider joining our Patreon to keep us independent and keep these honest videos and reviews coming. Until next time.